Today, we're gonna to talk about Zoom Mesh, a new feature that Zoom just released for Enhanced Content Delivery Network. We're gonna talk about why you might need it in your next Zoom event or Zoom webinar. All right, ECDN, or Enhanced Content Delivery Network. This technology has been around for, uh, for a number of years, and it's useful in a couple of capacities. Typically, for broadcast type events, um, or our webinar type events where it's one to many. And these one to many events are typically thousands of people big, five, 10, 50,000 people that are joining this meeting or event or webinar to really consume data. It's really not a collaboration type vehicle, right? You're, uh, when you have tens of thousands of people in a meeting, this is not a collaborative event. You're typically consuming content from a speaker or a primary uh, participant. What this then allows is a few things is is that every person that's consuming the event is getting a stream down to them, right? There's a stream coming into them. There's not a stream being pushed. They're receiving a video uh, stream, an audio stream, probably a content sharing stream. And when we were uh, all at home during, the, uh, during COVID, during the pandemic, that was okay because you were reliant on your individual network, your home network most likely, to receive that stream. And so IT administrators, IT network uh, admins could only control their headquarters or their uh, their data center. They couldn't control your house network and nor did they really want to because you probably had a, a bigger stream than you had if you were at work. Why this is important is now that we're going back to the office, those streams are getting relocated from your remote network, your home, to headquarters. And what this then makes the network admin of the, of the enterprise take into consideration is bandwidth of the overall office. Because now when you were at the pandemic, you had zero people in the office, but now that we're back in the office, or some of us were back in the office, or even a hybrid level and flexible work level, we're bringing those streams into the office. Now the network administrator has to be cognizant of what that network's doing on their site. What Zoom Events does is this, it then allows those multiple streams, right? Because they say you had a thousand people at, at home and they were in a Zoom webinar and they were consuming a Zoom webinar. That's a thousand different streams, a thousand different remote networks. That's fine. Now we bring those thousand people from home and we throw them all into the home office, sorry, the, the corporate office. Those thousand streams remotely, there are now a thousand streams in the headquarters. Now the network admin has to, plan for a thousand extra streams that he hadn't planned for in the last two years. Zoom Mesh allows this to kind of be uh, collapsed. What this allows them to do is share that stream. So technically a thousand people watching the exact same content, what if you could just put, and theoretically this is, not, this is not completely how it works, what if you could just do one stream in and then those thousand people can share that stream. So those thousand people can go to each other for that stream instead of a thousand streams going to the internet. That's an oversimplistic way of saying it, but that's pretty much the idea of what an ECDN is. That's what Zoom Mesh is doing. It's basically consolidating those streams coming in from the egress ingress point of the internet bringing them down to a client level and then distributing it through the clients, the Zoom clients themselves. So there's no extra add-on. There's it's a, it's a seamless integration. The Zoom client actually does this all for the users and they're not even aware that it's happening. It's sharing that network stream across clients inside the corporate network instead of all thousand corporate uh, clients going to the internet to pull it down. Zoom Mesh just came out. When I say just came out, it was a probably it was a couple of weeks ago. But at this point, uh, that allows Zoom events and Zoom webinars to take advantage of ECDN. That's really what its primary purpose is. ECDN is really a important part of the concept of sharing that stream, creating less bandwidth, less network intensive resources for your Zoom events and Zoom webinars. I hope that was helpful. That was a very simplistic way of looking at ECDN, but I just wanted to give you another idea of what Zoom is doing in the innovation space when it comes to UCAS. Zoom Mesh is really innovative platform for ECDN, all part of the overall UCAS platform that Zoom's pushing out now. And, and that's a really important concept to, to really kind of articulate is, is Zoom as a UCAS platform. It is not just an application anymore. You can literally do everything UCAS inside of the Zoom app. We're talking about, everybody knows what Zoom meetings, people know what Zoom phone, Zoom events, 
Zoom webinars, Zoom rooms, call center, Zoom apps, Zoom team chat, the development SDKs and APIs, and now we're getting into eCDN and Zoom Mesh. Holistically, you can now run your entire UCAS platform from one solution. And that's an important concept from the roadmap and strategy of where Zoom's trying to go. I am a Zoom distinguished architect. I am a full-time employee of Zoom. I'm not a figurehead or spokesman for Zoom. I just love to talk about cool technology. And a lot of times that has to deal with Zoom. If you found this helpful, please subscribe or even comment below. Enjoy doing these videos. If you have an idea from something you want me to cover, please let me know. Thanks.